another bath bomb making video for you. Um, so in this mixture I have um, as my normal go-to mixture it just works really well. So it's five cups of bicarbonate of soda, two and a half cups of citric acid and a half a cup of SLSA. So that's what I've got in, in this mixture at the moment. I'm just going to give that a quick mix through. But now I'm going to add my mica powder which um, is called Red Rose and it's from um, Mineral Makeup Ingredients. It's just a little bit less than or if you level it off it's about one teaspoon of mica that I'm putting in there. I'm just going to blend that through so, and then in here I have um, 50 ml of sweet almond oil, 15 ml of polysorbate 80 and 20 ml of my fragrance oil. Today I'm using black excess fragrance oil. Um, I think I got that from soap supplies but I will have to double check. So I'm just going to pour it all in and then give that a mix through. It still doesn't hold itself very well so I'm just going to give it five spritz of witch hazel. So yeah as you can see when you squeeze it together it holds itself. I've got my mould here and basically what I've done here is I've just um, I've got some rosebuds and some um, pink Himalayan salt. So what I've done is I've I've crushed the um, rosebuds and the pink Himalayan salt in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to give the bottom of one mould a mixture of the pink Himalayan salt and the rose petals I suppose they are now so and just put in your mixture press it down not too hard then I'll just give it a gentle cover over the top not too heavy and then the second second mold the, the bottom half again just fill the mold press it down make sure everything's incorporated in the mould and then just give it a loose bit on the top shake off a little bit of excess you don't want too much in there because it will crack so and then when you've got the two moulds filled up push them together it might be a bit of a squeeze it all depends on how much you've actually overfilled your your mould so that's what it looks like when it's inside the mould and just with the mould it should just come out pretty easy so you've got all the the pink Himalayan salt and the rose petals there and then what I do is I just squeeze the bottom of the mould and it comes out pretty easy and there it is So I've done five in the style that I've just showed you. So and now I'm going to try a different style and see how these turn out. I'm just going to put two rose pet two rose buds, and then I've got some lovely glitter. So I'm just going to give it a little little delicate dusting. So I don't mean loads. Hope you can see that. It's a bit of a big clump there of glitter, but it should be okay.
so I think that's very pretty so you can you can do endless amounts of designs the creations are up to you really so I'm just giving you some of mine so or you can <clears throat> again just do a little bit of glitter couple of rosebuds again put in your mixture and then create a little dent in the mixture and then you can pour some Himalayan salt and some petals and fill that up again Or you can put in embeds, different coloured embeds if you'd if you want to do that. 